हेलो वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू ऑन द ट्रेनिंग सेशन ऑफ शेड्यूल थ्री ऑटोमेशन टूल माई सेल्फ सी ए विशाल मोलचंदानी एंड ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ टीम ब्लैक हॉर्स एक्सीलेंस आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम ऑन दिस ट्रेनिंग सेशन सो इफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी सीन द डेमो ऑफ दिस शेड्यूल थ्री ऑटोमेशन टूल देन यू आर ऑलरेडी अवेयर वॉट ऑड ऑल आर दी फंक्शनैलिटीज हाउ यू कैन वर्क एंड ऑल बट इफ यू आर फर्स्ट टाइम सींग दिस थिंग देन लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस अबाउट द टूल लेट मी गिव यू अ ब्रीफ अबाउट द टूल so schedule three automation tool is for preparing financial statement of private limited companies as well as for the limited companies falling under the non indies category under the division 1 basically and uh, you can prepare uh, entire set of financial you can calculate depreciation as per the companies act and we will see like how you can work on that so what all are the things in the schedule three we'll see the prerequisite then we will see what is the structure of the automation tool we'll see what all are the features and then we will see the workflow it is very important to uh, have a view, uh, view of this entire training session so that you will be able to utilize the automation tool very smoothly now it, in terms of prerequisite you would require excel 2010 or higher version and if you have office 365 then it will work perfectly fine on that tell you odbc setting which is a one time setting then that we will have to do then if you are using a excel to uh, is a 32 bit version and tell is a 64 bit then in that case there is some setting which is being required that also we will see then we need to run tally as a administrator every time to import data from tally now let's come on the structure of the tool so there are all things divided into three sheet kind of sheets first one is the input sheet those are colored orange sheet when you see the tool you will get to know there are five input sheet then there is a output sheet all this output sheet are colored as a red ta uh, green tabs and then there are certain reviews and working sheet now in terms of features if we see so it is integrated with tally tally prime you can even import data from excel tv also then there is a uh, all schedules and extra notes you can prepare with the click of one button then there is a comprehensive qualitative and regulatory disclosure sheet which has been given then depreciation as per the companies act that will also be calculated in that presentation options are being given then cash flow you can prepare in this then uh, as a preventive control mechanism we have given the check sheet this is something when you are preparing financial manual in excel which is not available so this will be a very important when you work on this automation tool consolidation also you can do it in this automation tool you will get the columnar uh, balance sheet pnl for the branches then itr6 balance sheet pnl that part will be generated in this which you can export into the winman computex and spectrum as well now as i said consolidation with the multiple branches if you have data in different tally file that also you can do it in this now if we see the workflow of this automation tool this is uh, being divided into this uh, di six different stages we can import data from tally then we need to complete the grouping some somewhere around 50 60% grouping will happen automatically in the automation tool remaining we need to do one time only then we, we with the click of one button we can generate the annex share and notes then we need to add the qualitative disclosure so company to company this kind of information will vary so that is upon user to add that thing and then you can review check sheet analytical chart ratio sheet for finalization purpose and then once the things are being finalized then you can give a print of the financial now we will see uh, on one of the company data itself live tool itself okay so this is the schedule 3 automation tool which is entirely an excel based automation tool so as we have discussed that there are five main input sheet see master file first one second tb then fr to input the data of uh, fixed asset uh, wise to calculate depreciation as per the company act and then there are this two disclosure sheet q disk and the regulatory disclosure is for the r disk now let us begin with the master file here we need to enter the detail of auditor as well as we can enter uh, the detail of company signatory here you can enter that detail after that all the features that we have given to you those you can utilize from here itself like financial preparation options if you want to generate the financials for a stand alone entity or a branch consolidation or a company consolidation as per the accounting standard 21 that you can select from here then cash flow in case of small companies will not be applicable so that you can uh, deselect like you can select no in that case in in this financial you can prepare annex share as well as itr also so those also if you want to generate you can select yes for that 
Further, there are presentation options like from the current financial year that is a 21-22. It is compulsory to prepare financial in round and off. You cannot give in the uh, decimal absolute figure. So you will have to round it off in thousands, in hundreds, in lakhs or in crore depending on the company's turnover. So that also you can select directly from here. So in whichever decimal you want, you can select from here itself. So let's say I select the in thousands. Then there are presentation themes, eight color themes we have given that you can select from here which type of themes you want. Then there is a bordering option which we have given, font you want to change that you can change it from here. Similarly, there are certain print options that we have given that also you can select from here. Now let us come to the trial balance sheet. We will import data for one of the company. So this is the blank trial balance as you can see right now. And to import data from tally, we need to click on this button import from tally. Before we import, when you are using a first time this tool, you just click on this button, tally settings. So when you click on this tally setting, it will tell you on the first pop up what is the Excel beat. So this is the Excel uh, 64 beat with that reference. We need to do this settings. There is a detailed video available on this tally uh, configuration setting. In case you want to see that thing, you can refer that. Now, uh, let us come, let us see what is the tally file that we have open over here. So here I have one of the company data open over here and period is selected 1819. So when we click on button import from tally in the automation tool, it will import data for the period which is being selected over there and the company which is open over there. Now in companies financial, it is compulsory to give the comparative. So when you are preparing first time financial, you need to import first previous year tally data. So you can open the tally data for the previous year and then uh, you can simply click on this button import from tally. So it will actually import data for the company which is being open over there and for the period which is being uh, selected over there. Yeah, so you can see this uh, trial balance data has been imported over here and this is the adjustment which is going to uh, we need to do. So on company to company this adjustment will arrive depending on the like uh, company you need to do those adjustment so uh, primarily there is a stock adjustment that will come now let me show it to you what it has imported the first two column that is the grouping so grouping one is the primary group and second one is the grouping which is being defined in the tally so user is also defined certain group so that also has been captured over here second is the name of ledger that has been covered over here and then there is the balances so there is no separate column for debit and credit debit is over here is positive figure and credit is negative figure after this data has been imported as i said that we need to do the stock adjustment so let us uh, uh, come to the tool so we'll just come to the last in the trial balance and we will just write it down over here that this we have done the adjustment and we will just write it down over here that this is the change in stock adjustment so if i come to the tally in tally opening stock is over here is 2 crore 93 lakhs and closing stock is 3 crore 54 lakhs so change in stock comes to the 61 lakhs rupees and exactly that what difference we are getting in the trial balance over here so we will put this as a 61 lakhs rupees as an adjustment 61 lakh rupees is actually the stock is increasing so we'll put it as a negative figure so it is a credit when stock is decreasing we just have to put the debit figure so in that case figure will be positive now this is the uh, trial balance is now tallied now we need to do, do the grouping so this grouping is divided into this three different level first one is the phase grouping then there is a node grouping and then there is this sub node grouping so Phase grouping, there is a drop down list is given. So if I just show it to you. So this is the phase grouping. We need to select from the drop down list over here. We can select. So the, this is the professional fees expense. So where it should go on the face of the balance sheet and PNL that we can select. So this is something which should go into the other expense. So we can select the other expense over here. Once you select the other expense, then the subcategories of the other expense will open up over here and that you can select so at the note grouping level you can select that thing so 
So at the node grouping, we can select the sub node grouping over here. So this is the professional fees expense. I'll just classify that under the professional fees. And sub node grouping is open ended. If you want to give a further sub grouping of that, that you can just define over here. This is upon the user. User can write their own grouping over here. Now, when you are doing a grouping first time, it is not that you will have to do this all grouping manually for all this laser. You can simply click on this button, apply default grouping. So that will do the majority of the grouping somewhere around 50 to 70 percent grouping. It will do it automatically. So if we see over here, previously there were 464 lasers which were not grouped. And now there are only 115 lasers which are not grouped. In node grouping, it is a 178. So this remaining grouping we can complete very quickly. Like let me show it to you how. Let us say that we need to do this administrative expense grouping. So we can filter that all the lasers which are grouped under the administrative expenses. They should go into the other expense. So I'll just select that other expense. And then uh, this is under the other administrative expenses. So I'll select that. And I'll just copy paste that to all the remaining uh, lasers where the grouping is not done. So this is how we can actually complete the grouping and once your grouping is complete then if we just come the balance sheet PNL would you will get the tallied figure in balance sheet and PNL. Here you can see the balance sheet PNL is ready with all figures which are being tallied and this is in printable format. Here our task is only that we can select yes or no for the respective note. Let us say that this is the long term borrowing if we want a note of long term borrowing we can select yes from the drop down list if we do not want we can select no for that so note numbering will be automatically rearranged according to the selection that we do over here and it will only generate those notes which we have selected yes in the pnl also if we come pnl also our task is only that we need to select yes no for the notes that we want now once your balance sheet pnl is ready then we can just come to the notes one and just click on this button prepare notes so once you click on this button prepare notes, it will generate all the notes automatically taking a base from the trial balance and all financial grouping which is being selected over there. And it will generate only those notes which we have selected yes in balance sheet and PNL. So here if you see, this is already generated all the notes over here. Now in this there are certain information which comes from the QDISC. QDISC is the qualitative information from the QDISC sheet that data is coming. Now this notes are divided is actually in the four different sheet notes one is covering all shareholder related notes and the liability related notes. Then there is a notes two that is a fixed asset and the depreciation gross block uh, detail that, that will come from the FAR. Then there is a notes three which is covering all asset as well as the PNL notes. So these are all being generated with the click of that one button when we generate click on this prepare notes. Then there is the fourth disclosure sheet that is the A disk. A disk is basically covering all of the trial balance disclosure like your auditor's remuneration, earning per share, MSME disclosure, then there is a related party disclosure. Now regulatory disclosure which are applicable from the current financial year, those will also be captured over here. Now this is information which is not coming from the trial balance. So where we will have to put the detail. So for this we need to put the detail in Q disk and R disk. Whichever disclosure is applicable, we can fill detail in that. So in most of the companies, you will always have a share capital detail which you need to fill. So you just click on this share capital and the tables for that share capital will open up and we need to fill the detail for that. Like authorized share capital, then there is a reconciliation of share capital, that table we need to fill, rights uh, of the shares we can mention over here, shareholder holding more than 5%, that table we need to fill it up over here. So this is how we can fill the detail which are in qualitative in nature. Let me show it to you one more example. Let's say company has borrowed some long term funds. So just click on long term borrowing. It will open up the tables for that. I have filled up here one of the data. So it, this is a uh, company has borrowed a fund, long term fund on the factory building. And this is the terms of repayment. If you want to mention some tech, uh, information in textual format. So that you can mention as a part of the footnote. Now, once you fill this information, if you just want to directly go to 
the output sheet that is the notes 1 2 3 or additional disclosure you can simply press over here control q so i have just clicked on the control q and we are just redirected to this sheet where long term borrowing this disclosure has been added similarly let us say that we want to add certain footnotes below this short term borrowing so i can uh, click any cell over here and i can press control q so once i press a control q this will take it to me to the short term borrowing disclosure i can write it down over here that short term borrowing is on working capital of the company and once you feel this information just again press a control q you will be redirected to that sheet and that disclosure will get added similarly you can feel the detail of uh, this trade receivable trade payable aging schedule also we just click on this uh, any cell and press control q you will be redirected to the q disk and there you can feel the information now let us come to the regulatory disclosure here also whichever disclosure is applicable you can click on that button that let's say a company has borrowed uh, short term bonds on the working capital so related to that disclosure has been given over here you can feel that disclosure and that data will flow to the respective sheet there is one more report which you can generate in this that is the annexure report so in companies financial we do not give a ledger wise detail but for our working purpose we may require that ledger wise detail so you just simply click on this button prepare annexure and that will generate all the annexure automatically with the, within just one or two minutes you can see here annexures are generated this is entire you can see that as a sub schedule or so annexure uh, then we can even yeah so this is the annexure with the all ledger wise detail which has been captured over here and this is all ready in printable format so this is separate from the company's financial so don't mix up this thing with the financial in financial whatever thing you are disclosing as a node grouping and sub node grouping that will come over there and at the this annexure level you will get the ledger wise breakup for that then there is this analytical graph so for your an uh, audit review as well as for your management presentation you can give this analytical graph as well to generate this graphs you simply need to click on this button refresh charts so that will generate all the charts automatically here there are certain charts like uh, profitability chart pnl chart top 5 income ledger top 5 expense ledger top 5 customer balances top 5 creditor balances and certain balance sheet and cfs related chart then if we just come to uh, there is the this itr6 balance sheet which has been given over here this will generate it from the trial balance so this is integrated with as i said this is integrated with Computex, Venman, Spectrum, Sarel IT uh, as well. So there is a detailed video how you can export data into the respective software. You can see that for that purpose. Now let us come to the uh, financial other thing. There is a check sheet which has been given. So check sheet is a very important part as a financial whether it is having any error or it's a error free it is a complete or not so all the incompleteness all the errors all the mismatches between the financial you will be notified over here so in this check sheet you can see there are more than 160 checks and only checks which are not solved you will be notified over here so this first check says that there is a mismatch in the cash flow then in between there are certain checks which says that the uh, there is a negative balance grouped so this is the 27 ledgers under the trade uh, payable which are having the debit balance so this also we can regrow so this check sheet ultimately when you just uh, finalize the financial you can just uh, review that this all checks are cleared now let us come to how we can calculate the depreciation as per the company's act so depreciation as per the company's act to calculate we need to come to this far sheet here you need to fill certain basic detail of asset you can just uh, field details like type of asset you can select from drop down list whether it's a tangible or intangible asset then you can select the category of the asset like you can select from the drop down list over here then cost residual value you can mention over here then date of put into place once you enter and then you enter the what is the useful life of asset date of retirement will come automatically then select 
the method of depreciation whether you are using a WDV method or SLM method that you can select and then just click on this button refresh so once you click on this button refresh it will calculate depreciation for all the asset automatically so this is the perpetual depreciation chart which has been generated over here so for entire life depreciation will be generated over here and it is integrated with notes part 2 so just come to the notes part 2 and this data will be captured over here automatically so opening balance addition deletion depreciation for the period that will come automatically over here now let me come to this FAR sheet and when you are using the first time this automation tool it is compulsory to and enter the opening balances of the depreciation so you need to mention over here what is the date till what is your last signed financial date and the accumulated depreciation till that date there may be a chances that the depreciation as per your working and as per this tool is not matching so we cannot actually change the opening balances so for that purpose you can enter those details over here and then depreciation will be calculated from the first april Malab after this date it will be calculated depreciation yeah so this is a very basic uh, thing that we have just gone through this automation tool there is a detail and advanced part of this automation tool which uh, like consolidation there is a separate video on consolidation there is a separate video on cash flow so for that respective thing you can refer that thing to go into the detail Thank you.